I, I had played music that I hated. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first uh, one night, one afternoon, Thursday afternoon, I went into, into the, drove in, I was coming in in the afternoon, and uh, go up to the record pool, get my records, <clears throat> get a sandwich, go into the club, right downstairs, and practice mixes, and uh, and listen to my records. And I got this record, and it was like, it's raining men by the Weather Girls. Mm -hmm. So I put the needle on, and I'm listening to the record, like two minutes into the record, not even two minutes, about a minute and a half into the song, I just went, oh no. I said that to myself out loud, oh no. But you knew it was going to be big. Because I knew. I was just, I'm going to have to play this till the day I die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I played it that night. I mean, I, I worked out a mix out of Stormy Weather, uh -huh. the twelve, uh, the Disco Net remix, yeah. and, and played that song, and they went absolutely crazy. They went absolutely nuts. But I knew they were going to. As soon as I heard it, I was like, Ugh. And they didn't have any exposure to this music nope. on the radio or anything yet, so nope. their first exposure to it was in the club. Right. I guess it's hard for me to understand the sensibility then where people were so responsive to new music that they heard in a club, because if you do that now and they don't know it, it's a, it's it, a very different reaction. It, no, it was the same way then. It was the same way. Yeah, it was the same way that what we used to do is we used to play things like that, new things, a little earlier as the club was filling up. Uh -huh. So people weren't, you know, they were just having their first drink, first or second drink. They were hearing and listening. Yeah. They weren't ready to, to right. stop partying and dancing yet. And that's when we would play that stuff. But would you say It's Raining Man was an exception? Like it was, That was an exception. It was an exception. It was definitely an exception. How about records like I Will Survive? I Will Survive was another one that was not an exception. It was an exception. It was an exception instant, right away. Instant, instant hit. Instant. But did you like it when you first heard yeah, it? Yeah. You did. Yeah. As so, a matter of fact, I Will Survive is one of my very, very, I heard uh, Stephen talk about uh, word blends. Yeah. One of my few word blends yeah. was one with I Will Survive and I'm Every Woman. Yeah. And it was a 32 beat mix. Uh -huh. And it used to go, oh no, not I Will Survive. Right. It used to go, oh no, not I'm Every Woman. Right. So on the I'm, I would cross over. Right. So you, these were actually crossovers where you would take the lyrics from two different records and create a different phrase. Right. By mixing those two phrases, right. instead, those two instead of Gloria together. going, "Oh no, not I will survive," I made it go, "Oh no, not I'm every woman." Right. So, but 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 they weren't. But not everybody. They weren't easy to pull off. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>